Hello and welcome to my next video. This is a blue screen video. As I said, all fighters who retire will get a blue screen video. So this video is on Sean Porter, um, who afterwards this video will join. My welterweight playlist where Sean Porter was a welterweight champion. Um, disclaimer, I think I've nailed down this video properly. I did get it ready when I was quite ill, as with the Benny Lenny video. Although I think I nailed that one well. Uh, I didn't spot any errors going through it. So I'm sure I've done this one okay as well. But just as a little disclaimer, I'll double check it at a later date. So Sean Porter's first 20 professional fights is 20 and 0 with 14 KOs, um, leaving himself combined record of 20 and 0 with 14 KOs. And some fighters start slow. Other fighters like Usyk, De La Hoya, Lomachenko, Holyfield, they start quick and cram a lot of work in their first 20 fights. But Porter is not one of them, like many others are not. So he's zeros, okay, against champions, zeros against all of famous, zeros against top 10 rated fighters top three rated fighters and ring champions and Sean Porter after 20 fights is 0, zero, zero um, against pound for pound rated fighters so a quiet start for Sean Porter albeit an unbeaten start and like I said, many fighters start this way, okay? They start this way, having the weaker opponents first, then build up um, and fight much better opposition in the second half of their career, so to speak. A bit like Tim Bradley, when you look at his resume. His first 20 fights, not much there. The rest of his fights is an insane run. Um, and Sean Porter has something similar, okay? He goes from this slide, okay, to this which is much bigger. Sean Porter has a further 16 fights, going 11 win, 4 loss, 1 draw, with 3 KOs. Sean Porter retires with a record of 31 wins, 4 loss, 1 draw, and 17 knockouts. Now, he fights a draw against top 10 and top 3 rated former champion Julio Diaz. Um, Sean Porter then comes back, though, and beats Diaz in a rematch, beating the top 3 rated champion. Um, so, he's drawn and won to former champion Julio Diaz there. He then beats former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Devon Alexander. Before then also beating former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Pauli Maligiani. Before losing to the UK's um, Kel Brook, okay, top 10, top 3 rated champion. Look at the list of top 3 rated fighters here in a short fight number. It's quite insane really for a modern fighter. He then fights top 10 and top 3 former champion Adrian, um, not so much of a problem, Broner, gaining a win. Before then fighting in a very tough fight and giving Keith Thurman one hell of a battle against the top 10 and top 3 rated welterweight champion that was a very hard fight for Keith Thurman Porter acquitted himself very well he then beats former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Andre Berto um, before then also gaining a win of a former top 10 contender Adrian Granados he then beats former top 10 top 3 ring champion and former pound for pounder uh, Danny Garcia also I forgot to mention um, Kelbrook Adrian Broner and Keith Thurman also were rated in my pound pound ratings so that's four fights against pound pounders on one slide which for a modern fighter is quite a lot he then then fights and beats former top 10 rated champion Jordanis Ugas, who is now also the current um, WBA champion um, um, in the welterweight class, before losing to top 10 and top 3 rated champion and pound pounder Errol Spence Jr. And he closes out his career, okay, fighting top 10, top 3 former ring champion and pound pounder Terence Bud Crawford. So interestingly, Sean Porter fights the two men um, who won't fight each other. Okay, he fights both Errol Spence and Terence Crawford. He loses to both. Um, you know, gives both a good fight in different ways, but ultimately loses them both, but they won't fight each other. So Sean Porter um, retires with 12 fights against champions, including 7 win, 4 loss, 1 draw. As yet, no Hall of Famous, but he's a recently retired fighter, so I wouldn't really expect any. Only in rare conditions does that happen. So he's 0, zero, zero and against top 10 rated fighters okay Sean Porter ends with 13 fights he has eight wins four loss and one draw now against top three rated fighters Porter does it double figures okay he goes six win four loss and one draw against um, top three rated fighters and he ends his career with two fights against string champions one is a win over Danny Garcia the other is a loss to Terence Bud Crawford and against Pound for Pounders, Sean Porter ends with six fights against Pound for Pound rated fighters uh, with a record of two wins and four losses. Sean Porter has certainly fought um, a good level of opposition um, in his professional fights and his career of sub 40 fights in total. I mean, there's 13 fights on there, okay, so, for, so from these 16 fights, um, you know, in this second run, 13 of them are on there, 11 of them are top three rated fighters, six of them are pound for pounders, um, so, you know, he's had a very, very good run there and fought a lot of good names and got some good wins himself. 
So Sean Porter, okay, beat seven world champions in his career. He has fought a total of 127 rounds against champions. And Sean Porter has beaten two fighters who've been unified champions. He's not beaten any fighter who's been an undisputed champion. He fought one, of course, Tennis Crawford, but didn't win. He's beaten one fighter who's been a lineal champion. And Sean Porter has beaten four fighters who have been multi-weight champions. So he's beaten four fighters who are champions in more than one weight. Sean Porter at the moment has beaten zero Hall of Famers, um, and thus he's fought zero rounds against Hall of Famers. But like I said, only in rare cases um, does a modern active fighter have a Hall of Famer on there. Many of the fighters Sean Porter fought are still active, um, so therefore are not eligible for the Hall. But we will have to see with the passage of time. But any Hall of Famers that Porter does get added, of course, um, his information on those will be updated over time so we will see you know where he ends up in the fullness of time so Sean Porter okay let's look at his title record Sean Porter had a world title fight record of eight fights in total um so you know just under a quarter of his fights were for world titles he had four win four loss no draw he scored one KO while stoppage in a title fight and Sean Porter also made two title defences now his record in unified title fights is no win one loss and no draw um, and Sean Porter has never unified himself so he's been a zero time unified champion and a zero weight unified champion and Sean Porter comes in with a total um, of 86 title fight rounds for in his career and in fights against rated fighters champions or Hall of Fame as Sean Porter comes in with a total of 13 overall and wins against rated fighters champions are Hall of Famous. Sean Porter comes in with a total of 8. So there we are, there's Sean Porter's um, basic career breakdown. Okay, some stats and some title stats there. Um, let us now go on to the KO stats for Showtime, Sean Porter. Um, and when we look at his total of knockouts in his career, Sean Porter has scored 17 knockouts in his career. Three of those have been inside, uh, eight of those, sorry, have been inside three rounds. And Sean Porter's also scored seven first round wins. Now he's also scored two KOs or stoppages over world champions. Zeros at the moment against all of famous, but like I say, that can change in future. Um, and Sean Porter has scored one KO in a title fight, and he's also scored one KO over an unbeaten fighter. So Sean Porter was never a massive puncher, very physically strong fighter, uh, very durable fighter, um, really considering the opposition he's fought. Um, and he has been hurt here or there. Um, but, you know, he's very hard man to stop and very hard man to beat down. Um, but he's never been a big puncher. He's been more of a swarming, aggressive style, using his strength. Um, but he certainly can hit. He's just not a big one-punch icy finisher, so to speak. So, let's leave Sean Potter's KO stats there. Now we have to go on to the ring rankings and longest unbeaten run. And Sean Potter, rated as a top 10 rated fighter, um, is shy of a decade at eight years. Uh, still quite a decent run there, top 10 rated for eight years. Sean Potter's also been top three rated for two years. He's never been a ring champion, so that is zero years. And in ring rating points, okay, Sean Potter comes in with a total of 52 overall. Um, Sean Potter has been top 10 rated in one division and top three rated in one division and Sean Porter has been a ring champion in zero divisions and the longest unbeaten run in the career of Showtime Sean Porter um, is an unbeaten run of 25 fights in total so this modern warrior okay well actually when you look at his top 10 fights Sean Porter is regarded as having a very tough resume and when you look at his top 10 fights you know 13 it's not actually that large a number when you consider it historically against many fighters on my playlist. So, you know, this is something we have to keep in mind. This is a fighter who's supposed to, supposed to have a great resume, and yet compared to the great fighters, his resume is quite tame, really, in all honesty. Um, but he's done very well in this era, I'll say. He's very strong resume in this era. So Sean Porter was never pound pound top 10 rated in my all-time rating. So he's never been top 3 rated, nor has he been thus a pound pound number 1 rated fighter. But Sean Porter did beat two individual pound pound rated fighters from his total of 6 fights. And the record from those 6 fights is 2 win, 4 loss and no draw. Sean Porter has scored 1 win okay, against a pound pound top 3 rated fighter. He has scored 0 wins against pound pound number 1 rated rated fighters um, and never been rated in my pound pound all time rankings Sean Porter thus comes in with a total of zero pound pound rating points 
So there is Sean Porter's basic career breakdown and his stats. We'll just now jump to his title accomplishments um, to close out the video. Of course, now with me doing annual top thousand ratings, um, there's no need to start putting fighters' places on there. So Sean Porter, okay, is a one-weight world champion. Sean Porter holds distinction of being a two-time welterweight champion and the world titles Sean Porter held were the IBF welterweight title and the WBC welterweight title. So Sean Porter, ultimately, okay, two-time welterweight champion at world with, for this era, a very, very strong resume um, with many top-level fighters on there, many pound-pound fighters on there for a career his size. So in this era, he has certainly done very well. Historically, his resume is not that fantastic. But in this era, he does have one of the stronger resumes below the ob more obvious fighters like Donair, Gonzalez, Canelo and others. But certainly Sean Porter has acquitted himself very well in professional ranks. He will join my welterweight playlist. I'm out for now.